Tonight, it's the National Football League. It's Super Bowl Sunday. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion New England Patriots taking on the champions from the NFC, the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis and Charles the Patriots. We know the sequence of events. Tom Brady leaves for Tampa. He wins Super Bowl 55, and the Patriots are kind of middle of the pack for two years. But they turn right around, win the AFC title, and now making their record 12th appearance in a Super Bowl. And I certainly like how you set everything up there, partner, because it certainly felt from the outside that this run of titles was over for this team, that they were going to fall into rebuilding mode. But how about this group? They still believed in themselves, and they made it back to the big game. Meanwhile, it wasn't too long ago that the Atlanta Falcons were in the Super Bowl, and that's one that Falcon fans want to forget, 2017 Super Bowl 51. But now they're back in the big game for the third time in franchise history. And there's no way we can get to this game without remembering a few of those details of that last Super Bowl appearance. They were up 28-3. to Ended up losing in overtime to New England. Give them a ton of credit for putting that game behind them. Getting back to the Super Bowl so soon, that shows a lot of character for this franchise. The hype and the talk is over. We're set for the big one. Super Bowl 57. Away we go from Arizona. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by the rookie third-rounder who's from Louisville and then played his college ball up the road on I-71 at Cincinnati, Desmond Ritter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. So here are the Patriots now in excellent field position to start things out. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And I don't think that we can help but recognize the similarity of this moment for Jones to the guy who came before him in New England. In Tom Brady's second season, he led the Pats to the first of nine Super Bowl appearances in his time there. And now, in his second season with New England, here's Mac Jones leading them out on the biggest stage in sports. Can he follow through tonight and bring New England its record-breaking seventh Super Bowl title? Stay tuned. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. Harris running straight ahead. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. And throw right side complete to Parker. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. 
This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now Jones. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pickup of 3. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. On second down, this is Harris. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime bat, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. This is Cordero Patterson. Remember, he won a ring with the Pats. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. He's got his tight end over the middle, that's Ferkser. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. They'll look to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble and now fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. 
So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters kicking academies. And that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football, they're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. On second and seven, Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 23 yards to pick up there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off play action, Jones. And his throw is incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections, they want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 34-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. They hand this off to Harris. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw, Jones. And he rifles one incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Here's Jones to throw on third down. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Folks, kick is good, and that will make it six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing. So field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it, touchdown! Jadu Smith from 19 yards away. And the Patriots will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. 
So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Extra point up and good by Fulf. And the lead now stands at 13. Fulp now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. First and 10, it's Patterson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Jawan Bentley, the one to get in and finish off the play. When you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. They're going to look to throw. A complete to Drake London. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Two knocks this one through the post. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. Plenty of scoring here already. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. He'll look to throw. Throws right back to London, complete again. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Into the hands of Bird over the middle. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Patterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Algier will score. Touchdown, Atlanta. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Fields it right around the goal line. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know one big play that gets them right back up to that level. Four yards to pick up, first down. Off the play fake, Jones. And he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They'll give him four yards there, and now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. 67 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Jones throwing on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. Back to throw, Jones. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Understandably, pass rushers keyed up for this Super Bowl, but you can't do that. And let's face it, no one... to lose one of these quarterbacks early in this game. So you know they're going to be protected by the officials. On the give, this is Harris. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. On second and goal, Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Patriots continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead now stands at 13. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. 
Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Here's Patterson again, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now back to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Got his man. It's London. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 15-yard line. to the ground now Patterson and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13 two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight they'll drop to throw and he'll complete this one to Patterson and the stop will come inside the five at the four nine yards on the play there and it sets him up first and goal They'll run here with Algier. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Tyler Algier, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Falcons have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead will shrink to six. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was Tyler Algier capping things off with a touchdown. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 86 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Looking to throw. Jones. Complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, 
Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Now Jones on first down, over the middle complete. It's Henry, and he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing again on second down, Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run with Harris, and this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike it here. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. Folks, kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Let's go. Let's go. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. 90 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Again, it's Harris on second down. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Jones, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. 
So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now, a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. Kuhn knocks this one through the post and that'll move him back within six now. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. The Pats at the line ready to go. And last time they coughed it up led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. 15 yards there for number 15. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Jones keeping it on the sneak. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Well, now they'll try the end around, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. On second and 12, Jones. He gets it complete to Harris, and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play, and it's third and four now. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Meanwhile, Jones throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 124 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're gonna get this down inside the 15. 
I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. On third and short to give to the tight end. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Off play action, Jones. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met it as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Again, it's Harris, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris taking it in from two yards out, and the Patriots will extend their third-quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance blocking and getting their runner across the goal line. On for the extra point is Folk. And the lead is now 13. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too bad. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Back to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Flushed out right. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Pretty good job escaping the pressure. Gets him 15 yards on the scramble, but now it's fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? How do they score here, especially a touchdown? It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they?
This is Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Harris going to get it again on second down. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. It's caught. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. Second down at four. Harris running straight ahead, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slow them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Stevenson now on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Operating from the gun, Jones. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 14. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Throw left side complete. That's Patterson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The Falcons on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Looking to throw. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Olana de Zacchaeus, 78 yards. And the Falcons have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. 
And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They run once more with Stevenson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two straight runs of five yards, first and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. And this one complete to Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Jones, and incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. Third down here. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out, and we've got them now. Second and five now. Jones. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and ten. Second and four. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. Seven yards there and a first down. He'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. 
That's taken in by Ferkser. He is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. That one looks like he'll throw here. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Going deep here for Parker. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be Falcon football. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They and now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. All right, you've had to put up in the booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Jones. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. Jones now on first and 10. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. On the handoff, Stevenson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. 
Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.